sponsor video. Here's me a two. <laughs> I've had the lovely opportunity to go and have a tablet sponsor from Gahoma. Gahoman. Okay, so I'm gonna be reviewing the Gahoman S620 battery free graphic tablet. So, yeah, I'm gonna just check out the box. Alright, battery free. Wow, <laughs> 8,000 levels of uh, pressure sensitivity. Let's see, that's 10 millimeters, right? Right. Okay, okay. This is required. Well, I definitely have that. Blah, 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 blah. QR code to scan. No. Gotta open. Here, look at me. <laughs> you know, I could just use scissors. Mia, no! No! to attack the box. She's trying to help me. Don't, don't eat the box, Mia. Yeah. There you go, sticker. <laughs> What does it say? Download manual. Okay. Dear customer, thank you for choosing Gaoman product. We wish to bring you a pleasant travel of creativity. If you meet any problems with the product, please feel free to contact us and we will try our best to solve it. Contact us via email service at gatamon.net or chat with us at the bottom right corner window after using gatamon.net. Come on, Custer. Ooh. Ooh. Feels pretty nice. The plastic feels good on my hands. Guys, opening stuff with one hand is really hard. I'm checking to make sure it has good slidey wrist action so when you draw you're supposed to not have your wrist on there it's supposed to just be the pen but i have a bad drawing habit i always have my hand on the tablet we got a couple of tablet nibs this little thing helps you take out the nib when it becomes dull oh shoot come with a glove oh i've never had a glove before one hand only <laughs> fingers come on Ooh. You know, I have pretty small hands. This feels pretty comfy, though. I've never had a glove before, but I've always kind of wanted to have a glove for tablet drawings, so it's easier to um, slide. Because, you know, like I said, I have a bad habit of just keeping my hand there and, you know, friction and skin. But this would be a lot of fun. Instruction book. Pen. USB ports. Fluffy styrofoam. Alright, <laughs> that's basically everything. Unless I'm missing something. No, that's everything. Alright, let's check out this pen and see how it... See how it feels. Alright. Aw, oh, yeah. One-handed power. Hmm. A little bit lighter than what I'm used to. But... You know, you'll really see the progress when I go and use this. So, let's go and do that. Alright, so starting with female Sonic design, I decided that it'd be best to obviously sketch out the body, something more simple, obviously add in the eyelashes, you know, that's a pretty keen detail to do. And I almost for a second went and added Sonic's regular nose and his, his regular eyebrows. But I was like, oh wait, that's right, female hedgehogs don't really have the regular hedgehog nose. You know, they have 
a more like short kind of cute nose so obviously I gotta go mess with that and here you can kind of see me messing with different types of quills you had the Amy style for a bit the regular Sonic style as a, just a little bit of a joke and and then I went over and tried doing more of a long hair look and for this one I'm just kind of working on a ponytail because in my mind process while working on this I thought well let's see if you're going out and you're running all the time then obviously you would kind of want your hair out of your face so I decided that maybe I should go and try and draw Sonic in a couple of different ponytail looks but I wasn't really super happy with the ponytail look I do think it looks pretty cute but it just felt weird and after messing around with a couple of different types of quill designs and trying to go back to the ponytail look again I thought you know what maybe Sonic's hair is just better being free you know like when you're free as the wind you might as well just let your hair loose and just let it go so after flipping around a couple times I was like you know what screw it Sonic with uh, <laughs> with quills is better but obviously with this design you got the classic quills where it's just three technically Sonic has you know five quills and I want to do one where it's like okay we'll do one long look one shorter look which is kind of the normal and then the short shortest one for the top just to kind of style it a little bit um, as for bangs I kind of wanted to add a lot but I didn't really want to add too many bangs just to go and clog up the face and I kind of really fell in love with the single one bang I thought it was kind of cute I don't know there's something about it that I personally just like a lot having the one single bang there and in terms of the outfit here all right so <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I kind of clipped this a little bit too short. You can kind of see the shoes, but I kind of messed up on recording. I'm really sorry. I thought I was recording the entire screen, and it turns out I was only recording. <laughs> I accidentally cut off the bottom half, but as for shoes, I decided to go and give Sonic heels to wear. And the only reason I gave Sonic heels to wear is because if Blaze is able to run with heels, Sonic can run with heels as well. You can go and make an argument that heels are uncomfortable to run in, and I completely agree with you. Heels are definitely uncomfortable to run in. But if Blaze can do it, then Sonic shouldn't be complaining. They went and made her run around, Sonic's gonna run around. And as you can see, I've also added a jacket. Um, so the jacket kind of has a little bit of a race car pattern on the top sides of the sleeves and on the sides of it too, which I thought would be pretty cute. <laughs> Um, but unfortunately you can't really see on the back, but on the back of the jacket is the emblem that you get. You know, it's a ring with two wings on the side. I thought that'd be pretty cool. And I also decided to go and give Sonic a full-on bodysuit kind of thing. Um, I don't really know why I decided to give a full-on bodysuit. I just felt like maybe it'd be a bit better. And I also decided that I was more interested in giving Sonic kind of like cuff rings. Kind of like how Tails has them, but a bit thicker. Alright, and uh, yeah, this is, this is the final result for uh, sketching. And now... We're gonna have the real deal by actually lining this art. Alright, baby, it's line art time. Oh my god, I wish I could just line art this fast all the time. But, unfortunately, I cannot. As you can see, I decided to go and paint the little ring cuffs black. I thought personally, black would just be a better choice for the ring cuffs. Um, I also almost forgot to go and give Sonic the little belt buckle that he has on the side of his shoe and just kind of added it quickly there. <laughs> and of course, we go with the classic blue. Um, I could have easily made it a different color of blue, but I decided not to. Um, 
I know with most people, when it comes to the blue for Sonic, it's a whole thing of, like, oh, Amy Rose is pink, so then a male version of her would be red, and with Sonic, I guess it would be like a baby blue color. But to me, blue doesn't really have a defining, you know, normal gender color. I just like blue being blue, and honestly, Sonic looks really good just being a regular blue color. If I make an Amy, it's definitely gonna be pink, okay guys? It's, it's gonna be pink. You're gonna get a pink boy, you're gonna love it. As you can see, we got the nice heels and clothes and all that jazz. And so far it's looking pretty good. I'm actually really happy with the design. And of course, I really wanted to make the jacket red and keep more traditional like you know just kind of go with the themes and you got the green on the bottom of the shoe as a little accent color which I think looks pretty good and now we're just finishing up right here yeah and so far I'm pretty happy with it I actually really enjoyed drawing with this pen and then coloring the whole liner part of me was thinking of making it um yellow for the ring side but then I felt like it just stuck out too much. And I'd rather keep it as more simple, you know, like just have the yellow as an accent color instead of the whole color. But yeah, there she is. So I'm actually really happy with the design. I really like the whole tomboy kind of aesthetic. Even though Femme Sonic is wearing heels, you know, if Blaze can do it, she could do it too. I don't care. <laughs> she's gonna be running in heels, alright? And she's gonna be the fastest thing alive. That's just how it works out here. Thank you so much, Gaoman. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Gaoman. Gaoman. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about the pros and cons of the tablet since now I feel like I'm pretty used to using it and handling it and honestly I'm really happy with the artwork that came out. I was kind of worried that normally when you try out a new tablet sometimes your art quality kind of gets a little bit degraded, um, but I didn't really have that much trouble. Of course, sometimes trying it out at the beginning is a little bit tricky since you have to get used to the tablet pen and pressure and whatnot. For this one, I surprisingly kind of caught on pretty quick. I didn't actually expect that. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with uh, the results. So for the pros and cons, um, I'm actually really like the shortcuts for the button layout. There aren't a bunch of shortcuts. I think it only has like four button shortcuts. There's also a couple of button shortcuts on the tablet. Uh, pen itself, which is pretty useful if you want to use it to erase or use the color picker That's pretty useful um, I surprisingly use those a lot The only reason I didn't think I would use them is because on my current tablet that I've been using for a while The button pressing for shortcuts is really hard and stiff to the point where I might as well just go and use my keyboard it's just a lot easier for me, but with those ones, because it was so light and easy to use, I found myself using it pretty often. It felt nice. It felt uh, pretty good actually being able to use the shortcuts that are provided. And the next thing I want to talk about is the erasing fact. Um, for this pen, all you have to do is press the button, hold it down, and erase. With my other tablet pen, I literally have to flip the pen over and erase it like an actual pencil, which might seem... Oh, that's nice, you know, if you want to get used to it, working with a pencil. But flipping your pen over all the time gets really annoying. That's why most digital artists just do Control Z, or you might as well have a shortcut for your eraser, you know, because nobody wants to be wasting time flipping their pen over and over. So that's actually a really good idea. I like the fact that the eraser is already set on the pen. You just have to click it, hold it down, and you don't have to think about it too much. Uh, in terms of the cons, I would say that the tablet pen is just a little bit too light for my liking. Um, but when you are drawing and you're focused on drawing, you don't really notice it too much. So it's not a huge deal. My other con, I would say, is that this tablet for me personally is a bit too small. Um, just because I like having a bigger area to work on. 
Uh, however, I do think it's really good for traveling, and I will definitely take it with me when I go traveling, just because I like packing light. And it's super easy to just slide into your purse and take out whenever you need to. You mean, fit in your purse or your backpack. Yeah, as long as you protect it properly, you, you should be fine. Just take care of it, have a cover on it, you're good. Plus the fact that I really like the feature that it's able to connect to phones. Unfortunately, I have an Apple phone, so I can't really use that feature, but if you have an Android phone, you can definitely connect in. You can just start drawing on the go without having to bring a whole sketchbook or anything like that. Because sketchbooks are kind of heavy. So if you want to pack a light, then it's a good thing to pack a light. So for this tablet, it's really good as a starter tablet. Canadian price is $58.99. And the American price is normally around $40, or to be more specific, $39.99. However, currently there's a deal on it that I see right here, if you have Prime for 33 and 99 cents which honestly that's a really really good deal you know there aren't many tablets out there that you're gonna find for around 30 dollars and the ones that you do you can never really trust the quality with this but like this one's actually really good i definitely recommend starting with tablets that are more affordable in the beginning instead of jumping immediately into tablets that are way more expensive if you yourself are someone who isn't 100 percent confident with their drawings or they want to start out and you don't know where to go first, I definitely recommend this as a starter tablet. If you go and invest your money on an expensive tablet that's like $100 or something like that, then you're only going to end up wasting your money if you only use that tablet maybe every couple of once a month or something like that, maybe even less. I know trying new things can be really scary. Definitely recommend taking baby steps if you want to start out drawing. Definitely start out with this one. Um, it works really well. You could also go and get the bigger sizes if you like. The links will be in the bottom of the description, so you can go check those out if you want. And in terms of downloading the setup for the tablet, it was surprisingly really easy. Or with the tablets that I have worked with in the past, you normally have to go download, press an agreement, then you have to reset your computer, and then you have to go and press a couple more agreements of what you can do, what you can't do. With this one, it was literally just click, download, and then you can immediately start using your tablet. It was just so fast, so easy and simple. I was like, oh, are you sure you don't have to restart my computer? It's like, oh, do I have to do anything, any other steps or anything like that? And it's like, nope, just download, go, draw, that's it, you're done. And I really appreciate how simple the process was. Yeah, I hope you guys have fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you would like to go and draw this design, you are more than welcome to. And you should also tag me on Twitter if you would like to share it with me, because I would love to go and see it. Uh, QDTCat on Twitter.com. Go there, find me. And if you're interested in purchasing this tablet, definitely check the links in the bottom of the description. And once again, thank you so much to our sponsor, Gaoman, for allowing me to review their product. I had a lot of fun. Um, this has really been a fun adventure, and I'm definitely going to be using this tablet way more in the future. So I hope to go and see you guys all in my next video. Bye!